basically fatal, fatal drug combinations. Um, and we see those as accidental. But what, what people explain to me, especially the Netherlands, is that yes, some people will take them as a tool to commit suicide. But what happens among a lot of people, 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 they're struggling with other issues of mental illness and health and depression and all sorts of other things like that, and sometimes great physical pain as well, or great psychological pain. And so, for some users, it's a matter of just not caring that much about whether or not you wake up. It's like, this stuff's gonna make me feel good, it's gonna take away my pain, and you know what? Whether or not I wake up or not, eh, fuck it, you know? And, and so there, I think that's that element of the kind of, not so much deliberate suicide as the indifference to whether or not you wake up. And what percent of the issue is that? And obviously operates along a kind of continuum or spectrum between, you know, not wanting to die and, you know, um, you know, I mean, sometimes there's that element of people who are given the naloxone to bring them out of an overdose and they wake up and you're all, they're almost not sure they want to be awake again. Of course, there's also some unpleasantness to coming out of, you know, of that. Um, and, but I recently thing I got in the Netherlands is I remember there was a point a couple decades ago when I think a majority of the overdose fatalities uh, in the Netherlands were Germans. And, you know, there was this thing where Germans would come to Amsterdam or Rotterdam because it was easier and cheaper to get their heroin. But they said there was almost a little thing about some Germans who were down in the luck and they were addicted. But it was like, I'm going there, I'm going to Amsterdam, I'm going to get the best heroin, best dope I ever had, and I'm not going to wake up. You know, and it was an odd little phenomenon. We're only talking about a few dozens of people because there weren't that many people dying back then of overdoses. But there was that other little element at the end of things. As I know you're aware, 2020 was the worst year in recorded history for overdoses. And I think current projections suggest that 2021 will be worse again. And the question emerges, why, why, why? Well, I mean, you know, there's a bunch of theories about that. We know, I think, the, the, the single most persuasive theory explaining a big bunch of it is that you just had a lot more people using alone. You know, people using alone, there's nobody to give naloxone to. You can't give naloxone to yourself if you've overdosed, right? You're not able to. So the significant increase in people using alone was one significant variable. Um, people are almost certain about that. The second variable is that... Why? 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 Oh, oh, oh. Demons be gone. Be gone, demons. Be gone. Leave this studio! 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 studio.